All right, welcome back, all you Android volley heads looking to uh, get this thing working. Uh, in this section, this segment, what we're going to do is we're going to install some Android volley. So we got to go get volley, and we're going to install it, and then we're going to code something real simple, you know, just to make sure that it's working. So if you look at the um, Android developer's reference, and they say, okay, you go here, let's get uh, volley here, and you go here and you go, Ah, what is all this stuff? Master, idea, Android, you know. So so what you want to do is you want to look for this master. You go to master and you think, oh, more crap. What do I do here? All right, so you're going to have to get this tar, what they call a tar file. It's like a zip file. Click on it and download it, okay? Now, when you download this, if you're on, we're on Windows here, uh, it's a, it's a, it's a tar file. It's one of these other compression files. So what you're going to say, if you got WinZip or some other act, uh, utility to open this up, um, it's, it's going to come, it's going to open that up. And so here we go. So we got our, our archive of, of code. Now, you know, what do you do with this stuff? All right. Best thing to do. I mean, there's other ways to do this, but I think this is the simplest way to do this. If you go to where you have your Android project installed. And if you've been doing a few of these Android projects, you know, you're going to have an Android folder somewhere. Maybe they stick it in your uh, user profile. I just put mine on my main hard drive. And within the uh, application of project folder, you're going to look at, take a look at this, and you're going to see all this, this kind of familiar stuff. Uh, so what you want to do is you go into the apps directory, and in the apps directory, what I have done, and I, what, what you should do is you should create a separate folder called libraries, and within that folder, create another folder called volley. Okay, so we got a blank, fo a blank uh, folder here, and so this, so what we're going to do is we're going to go copy all the stuff that was in this uh, tar or zip file, and we're going to just drag it into this folder, all right? So, in our in our project file where we uh, we see app, we're going to add something new. We're going to call it a folder called libraries. In that folder, we're going to put uh, volley, and then we're going to drag all those files from volley in there. Okay. So once we've done that, we've gotten through all this mess. There's a couple other things that you have to do that are you know you have to go in commando here a little bit into uh, Android Studio, and you're going to have to put some stuff in Android Studio, some commands. Uh, they're really not kind of, we're in a very unfamiliar place. So we don't get confused, let's just close down these uh, files, resource files that we don't need. And so what we're going to look here is that we are going to go in Commando into a couple settings in Gradle. Um, Look for the settings, Gradle, the project settings, and you click on that. And this is where we're going to tell Android Studio where to include the, the, li the Volley library. Now, I've rather than type all this stuff in, I've got like a little cheat sheet over here that I've already typed this out. And I'm just going to cut and paste this stuff in here. Okay, so we see include, and then we get this uh, error. Or it's a warning. It says we got to sync the project. Don't worry about that just this instant because we're going to do that in just a little bit. And then what you want to do is you want to go into the build Gradle. And there's two build Gradles. You want to go into the module app. And we're going to tell uh, Android Studio we need to compile this. And so what we're going to do is here's the command. I just put it in my cheat sheet. Put it in here, command volleys library. Okay, so one of the things you got to do now is what's called sync the project. So you can use this uh, handy little uh, reminder here. Uh, you can also go up in the in, in the uh, Android uh, files up here and find and find this little button here. It's a sync project. Same thing. So you sync the project, and this is where we say, did we do everything correctly? And if we don't get any warnings, which I hope we don't. Um, okay, Gradle build finished. So it looks like things are working. Okay, let's close out, close down our cheat sheet. 
Uh, if they truly are working, and let's close this down, let's just say, okay, or is it working? We should probably be able to run our emulator. And it'll probably just kick out here in just a second and then come back in. We'll see. It. Hopefully, if there's no errors, simple login. App is installed. I think it's right. Working on this. There we go. Okay. Login. Boom. Okay, it's working. Okay, now we're really interested. Now we're prepared to actually go out there and see if we can't get some uh, a network call to do something. And so to do that, we're going to have to add something to our um, simple login activity. Oops, wrong one here. Okay, so we're going to add something on this click listener. So we're just going to go right out to, to Google, and we are going to send a simple request. We're going to look at that. And we're just going to grab the code, some of the code, um, which they have already posted here. So we're going to grab all the stuff and we'll talk a little bit about it. Okay. And we're going to go back into here. So we're not going to use this um, right here explicitly like this for right now. So we're going to comment out our text message. Put that in here. And we're going to paste what they've got in here. Okay. So. This sets up volley um, and it adds and it adds the volley uh, library here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say, okay, we're gonna we need to get this stuff in. So again, the, the uh, alt enter and it's gonna import those volley libraries in. Put that in there. Actually, another way you can do this, okay. Alt enter, import the class files, beautiful. String request, we're going to have to import that one. And request, import all the stuff in here. Anything in red, got to have it in. Except for one thing that I'm going to show you here in just a second. Okay, uh, they happen to use this thing called mTextView. Uh, we just called ours, and we called ours uh, text message. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy and paste. Text message, text message. Okay, so... Oh, one other thing is to, they, they use this, but we're going to do git. Come on. Let's go with the typing here. Git application context. All right, what's going on here? There we go. Okay, so we get a little helper here, git application context. We're going to put that in there. That'll solve that problem of referencing uh, this library. So what's it going to do? Okay, so this is going to create a uh, string request, a git method. And what it's going to do is it's going to go out there and it's going to grab uh, the HTTP from the uh, Google website. And a uh, simple string request that says, okay, go out there and get it. And then we got a listener here. And this listener is just, you know, hanging out, waiting for the response. And once we get the response, what it's going to do is it's going to display the first 500 characters of that response back to our user interface. And if it didn't, it's going to say, up, oh, it didn't work, we got some problems, we need to go back. So hopefully we are going to just like fire this thing off. And when we hit the, we just say, okay, we'll look at our emulator. So the idea here is that we're just going to, we're, we're sending a request out. And it just says, okay, Google, send us back what you got. And here we go. A couple sort of seconds. Wait, wait, wait. Here we go. And fire it off. And if it works, of course, we're going to ignore this password and username for right now. We're just interested in seeing if volley works. Let's throw it out there. That didn't work. And that's why we test often, test frequently. So it's valuable that this thing failed because it tells us something interesting. So if we go down here and we look in this error message, it's say uh, we look in here and it says something security permission, permission denied, missing internet permission. What does that mean? Okay, well, of course, now we're asking uh, Android student, we're asking Android to go out to the internet and uh, do something. And of course, we have to whenever we do anything, uh, most anything, we got to tell 
um, it, we got to describe this in the manifest what to do. So, um, so if we take a look at our manifest, uh, pretty pretty bare bones here, and so we're going to have to add uh, this reference. So right before uh, we declare our application in the manifest, we're going to have to add this internet request. And um, you know, I've cut and pasted this from my notepad. So basically, what you're going to do here, you've got your and uses Android permission. Uh, so the permissions are the internet. So let's go back after we've added this to our manifest and let's try to run our app once more from the emulator. And it should fire up here pretty quickly. We're waiting off and so we're going to test it. So, you know, this is why, you know, we test early, test often to find all this stuff out. Okay, let's give it a shot. And what happens? Look, oh, we get all this uh, stuff uh, from the Google homepage. And, you know, basically, if we opened up the Google homepage and view the uh, source code, we would see all this stuff in here. Okay, so we've got Android Volley installed. We've got it working very, very simplistically. So the next thing now is we want to kind of work, uh, you know, we got to tailor this because this isn't very useful to anybody. Uh, and we're going to try to move along and get our login scripts ready. Okay, see you in the next video.